Now, coming live from the Best Damn Movie Show studio, it's Vincent La Spada with a special review report. Hey, welcome everybody to the Best Damn Movie Show. I'm your host, Vince La Spada. And always, this is the Best Damn Movie Show right here on YouTube.com. <clears throat> Tonight, I went to go see The Black Sea. And right now, as we speak, Mr. Skip Dan Allen is getting out of the theater. Skip, give us a report. How would you think, or excuse me, what did you think about The Black Sea? Hey, I'm Skip, and I'm here with the uh, Best Damn Movie Show. I just got out of Black Sea, uh, starring Jude Law. Uh, it's about a, a guy who gets fired from a um, salvage company, and he decides to kind of get revenge on them by by uh, petitioning a uh, petitioning a group of Russians and some Brits that he used to work with in the British Royal Army or Navy, I mean the Navy. They're they're uh, trying to salvage uh, a bunch of gold off the coast of uh, uh, Russia and uh, Georgia and the Ukraine in the Black Sea and. Uh, the dramatic, the, the drama in here between the Russians and the Brits that are in the uh, submarine is pretty high tense. I mean, when you put you put a bunch of people in a, a claustrophobic atmosphere like a, a submarine, it really ramps up the tension. Um, the uh, I would say you know Das Boot and R Hunt for Red October are probably two two of the best submarine movies. I I wouldn't say this is horrible when it comes to submarine movies, but it's not one of the best either. Uh, it had a, kind of a happy ending. I'm not going to give away the ending, but I'll, I'll give it a see it. But I didn't just I didn't love it. Now, do you believe in the Black Sea? Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's a sea over in uh, Eastern Europe, and that's where a lot of the uh, Eastern Bloc countries have their navies and whatnot. And it was a big um, part of, of World War II because the Russians and the Germans were fighting over a lot of that land and the Black Sea was part of that uh, World War II uh, battles. And, and do you think this is a true story? Uh, it's based on a true story? No, this is completely fictionalized. This is a fictionalized movie. Um, it's just mainly for dramatic license to try to give us something interesting to watch. I got one more question for you, Skip. Do you think this could be a sequel uh, they can pick up to this? I mean, what do you think those guys did with that money? Well, they're both kind of young guys, and so they probably went and raised a family and, and lived their, the rest of their lives. I mean, I don't, I don't see that being a, single, a sequel to this. Hey, Skip, thanks for uh, giving us a live report from the Regal Winter Park Village. This, uh, for our screening of Black Sea. I uh, hope to see you next week here on the couch. Absolutely. I tell you what, <clears throat> I was excited to see this movie. I actually was. I, I, I'm, if you follow my show, you know I'm not a big fan of British, uh, of British films or people that are talking different languages, uh, talky movies. But this one actually had me interested. Uh, you know, it was... They had some Russian people and some people from uh, from London, and, and there was all kinds of nations in this movie. And like I said, it was about a guy that got um, canned from his job and put together a team to find a submarine that went down back in the day when Hitler was around, and the submarine was actually carrying, I think it was a hundred and hundred and eighty million dollars of gold on the ship. So they had a, they were looking for this ship. All kinds of problems they ran into. I tell you what though, it keeps you on your feet. You know, it's it's one of those movies that you have to stay, you have to watch it. You can't get up and get a popcorn or a soda because if you do, you're going to lose the part. You're going to lose the interest in the movie. But I tell you what, I enjoyed it. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, I know Skip gave it a big see it. But until next week, I'm your host, Vince Lespada. 
and we'll see you at the movies. Good night, everybody. Wash out.